What's up guys, it's Ed back again here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to episode number two of the Crystal Palace career mode here on FIFA 22. First off, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone for the support on the first uh, video. Um, it was incredible, we gained loads of subscribers from it, a thousand plus views on the video um, and lots of great comments and lots of good feedback um, for me to read and, and look at the, the video and the save with and uh, see how we can improve it. So, with that in mind, I have taken your guys' feedback on board and what we have done is we've put Elise at right wing. I don't know if I'm saying that right, Elise, Elise. Let me know down in the comment section. Palace fans, let me know down in the comment section. This one was a big, big one that a lot of you guys thought that I hadn't taken him into consideration. I had taken him into consideration, but just not for the starting lineup. You guys wanted me to put him in the starting lineup, so he's in the starting lineup. Same with this guy. Now, let me get up the episode one because I was actually told how to pronounce his name, and it is Gwehi. Gwehi? Gwehi. I'm gonna go with Gwehi. Let me know in the comments if I'm pronouncing that wrong again. But he's gonna be in there as well. Um, I'll rotate him and either Tomkins or Kelly. But those are the two players that you guys really wanted me to get involved in the first team, and they're in the first team. That's how this is gonna work. Comment section, let me know down in the comment section anything that you want and I will try and make it um, as good as possible. Also, I was told not to play with two DMs. We have changed formation, as you can tell, to a 4-3-3. What this will do is mean that our midfield is slightly more attack-minded whilst giving Zaha and Elise, Elise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Elise, whilst giving Zaha and Elise a bit more width to, um, you know, have more space, create more chances, do more on the ball. I did also restart the save because a lot of you guys said um, you didn't want me to do the first transfer window, so the first transfer window is disabled. I did restart the save, done everything the same, made sure we went out in the exact same um, part of the preseason tournament. We didn't get past the group stage as we did in the first episode. So we are up to date, properly up to date. When the full game comes out, which is tomorrow as I'm recording this, probably tomorrow as you'll see in this, um, I will get on the training, but for now we're just going to get D's on all our training um, and we're going to go. But yeah, keep leaving your uh, transfer suggestions down in the comment section below. January is going to be a huge window for us. As I said, looking for a, right, a first, first team proper quality right winger and a first team left back. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below who we should go with. Without any further ado, I'm going to stop rambling on. We're going to start off the Premier League season today. We have... Chelsea, Brentford and West Ham. I'm going to be playing Chelsea, simming Brentford and playing West Ham away from home. Without any further ado, let's get on and start the Premier League season. Obviously, with restarting the save, we did get new um, youth guys. This guy, Nico Fisher, looks to be very, very good. 70 to 90, as well as George Jorge Lopez, three star, three star. This guy, Yang Ma, might be good, might not be. We'll have to see how he goes, but... I don't think he'll be anything special. Um, and we also had a player chat from Zaha. Not one to complain or say I'm unhappy at the club, but I'm worried the transfer window is almost over and we haven't brought in the players we strengthen. Well, Wilfred, guys in the comments section wanted me to uh, not, not have the first transfer window. So, yes, we're working on it. We're not, but we're, we're working on it. Okay, sound. Keep letting me know your transfer suggestions down in the comments section below as we are about to kick off and go to Stamford Bridge. Okay then, the first game of the season is away at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. This is gonna be a really tough game. This is gonna be a really, really tough game. I don't expect to win this game. As I said, if we could get a point from it, I'd be very, very happy. But it's gonna be very tough indeed. It's gonna be seriously tough. I love the new mascots this year. Really, really cool addition. Chelsea go with a five at the back. Kante and Jorginho in the midfield, Lukaku, Pulisic, and Ziyech up front. That's their strongest side. That's their strongest side. They've got Timo Werner and Kai Havertz on the bench. This is going to be a long, long day. In goal for us, we've got Gaeta. Back four of Klein, Anderson, Gwei, and Mitchell. Will Hughes is going to start for us today, just because he's more of a central midfielder with Eze and Milivojevic. And then up front, we've got Zaha, Alise, and Edouard. Can we threaten? Can we get something from this game? Who knows? We're gonna try our best though. 
Alonso, ball into the box early. Ziyech can take it down. Kante, Lukaku. We're 1-0 down. We're 1-0 down inside four minutes. Oh, mate. This could be a long game. If they keep playing like that, this could be a long game. One touch pass and I couldn't get near it. Will Hughes couldn't get in the way of the shot. And Pulisic opens his account five minutes into the game. We gave the ball away. We were sloppy defensively and we got caught. Um, we, we weren't good enough there. But that's not a good start. That's not a very good start at all. Elise, Edward, back to Elise. In the box is Mendy's gloves, not Wilfred Zaha. That's the first good move we've had all all game. That's the first actual sign of promise that we've had all game. The first time we've really been able to get on the ball in a, an advanced area and pass it around nicely. Promising signs. <sighs> Gaeta's got to save that, surely. What is it with keepers this year? Either unbelievable or have got no hands. That's right down the middle. Gaeta has to save that. Kante's not even hit it hard. He's got to save that. Away at Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, it's going to be hard enough. But then you've got players making mistakes like that. We're well, 2 0 down after 25 minutes. And Gaeta's to blame for that. Gaeta is to blame for that. Eze. Can't get through. Chelsea are doing so well here at the back, especially. And then whenever they come forward, they're so hard to defend. Like, look at this. Gaeta, 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 Gaeta. It looks like we might need a new goalkeeper, lads. Look like we actually might need a new goalkeeper. He he's got to do better that. He's got to do better with that, surely. Oh no, he actually doesn't get anywhere near it. Three 0 down inside half an hour. Thirty six minutes inside the first half. We said this would be hard. We said this would be hard. I didn't realise it would be this hard. Because we cannot get near Chelsea when they come forward. Milivojevic does well. Eze's through there. Eze saved. But he was offside anyway. That's the first opening we've had. That's the first real opening we've had. And it's come just after half time. First game of the series, we lose 4-0. Um, yeah, as I said, poor performance for myself, but Chelsea were very, very good. They're going to be at the end. At the end of the season, they're going to be challenging for the title. So poor performance for myself. There were some positives, but not too many. A World Cup competition game has appeared against Brighton. So I'm going to play the Brentford game at home, then we're going to sim the Brighton game. Can we bounce back from that poor, poor defeat to Chelsea and welcome Selhurst Park with their new manager, myself, with a win. Let's go. I accidentally skipped the, the intro thing, replay thing, but we've had a slight change of uh, system here just because I thought in that first game we were a bit too wide and Zaha and Elise didn't really get involved. I couldn't really get them involved into the play. So we've gone for a 4-2-3-1. We've dropped Eze to the bench. And we've brought in Conor Gallagher to be our central midfielder. Who's going to bomb up and down the pitch. And then Zaha and Elise left forward and right forward. Hopefully they can get involved a bit more. As you see there. 4-3-2-1. Selhurst Park. Let's get our first victory. Milivojevic, Gallagher, 
Edward. Great save. Great save by Alvaro. That would have been the perfect start for us. That would have been the perfect start. Hold on. Oh, Edward, Edward. Two, two, two really good chances. Two really good chances inside four minutes. I hate this game. I hate this game. <sighs> Our defensive issues are very, very apparent. Either I can't defend on this game, or we just do not have defenders that are good enough. I don't know. Because when else, whenever else I've played this game, I can defend. Most of, the, most of the time. I just do not know if it's me or, or what it is. We just can't defend. We are playing a lot better. On the ball, we're so much better. It's Nathaniel Klein. Goes down, penalty kick. Yellow card for Rico Henry, who one of you guys actually did suggest to sign. We might be looking into him in January. Not if he continues to tackle like that. Wilfred Zaha. Scores. How fitting is it our first goal comes from Wilfred Zaha. It's from a penalty, but that's all we need. We needed to get off the score. We need to get on the score sheet. We need to get off the mark, and we have. Good penalty. We are level. We are level. Come on. Now let's, let me just try and defend properly, please. Oh my days, this is mental. Jan out, scores. This is mental. This is honestly mental, honestly. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's about five, five in-game minutes of the most aids you will ever see. I've tried to kick it and it's hit Tony and we haven't even won a header. We have some serious, serious defensive issues. We really, really do. We're going to change it up again just to see if we can offer any defensive... <laughs> um, <laughs> just help, really. We're going to go with a 4-2-3-1, play the two CDMs, see if that offers us a little bit more. Um, and as the second half goes on, we can bring on Eze. But I want to use Conor Gallagher in that cam roll. But hopefully with two CDMs in front of the back four, we can be a bit more solid. And not get cut open by Brentford easily. Because it was too easy. Gallagher's done unbelievably. Edward, please announce yourself. He has. He has announced himself. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 2-2. Two, two. The changing system might have worked. The two CDMs. We might have to stick with it. Eze. Come on, fresh legs of Eze. Finds Elise. Last minute winner. Last minute winner vibes. Elise. What have I passed it for? I don't know why I've passed it. I panicked. I panicked. And I've fucked it up. We, re we really should have scored there. We really should have scored there. We really should have scored there. We get off the mark in terms of goals and in terms of points. Our first home game at home to Brentford. We draw 2-2. Two -two. We should have won that game. We should have won that game. But there were positives for sure. The biggest positive, I think, was the change in formation at half-time. That really, really helped us a lot. We were a lot solider and a lot better in that second half. Okay, the first round of the Carabao Cup against Brighton. I'm just going to jump to result. We lose 1-0. We haven't won a game in this first in this 
the second episode. We're out of the Carabao Cup. It's not been, it's not been very good. It's not been a very good first episode, and I promised Jack that he would play, and I completely forgot about it. Brilliant, brilliant indeed. We sit 18th in the league with a goal difference of minus four after the first two games. We're going to need some improvements. Going to need some improvements. So, as always, let me know your transfer suggestions for the January transfer window down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, hopefully in the next episode uh, we can come back, we can get a good result against West Ham and we can kick on and really start our season because our season hasn't really started. We've been poor, we've been poor in this first episode but we will see what happens uh, in the future. If you'd enjoy, like it, subscribe to never miss a video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. She wants to be my one, that girl she wants me to I just wanna be free, I just wanna do me I just wanna do me and then Feelings and all the mix, I like you but I'll never